We're learning more now about the fatal hot air balloon accident in Eloy that killed four people and hurt one more. And the names and ages of those involved have been released now as investigators are examining the hot air balloon's equipment. Fox 10's Lauren Clark has the latest on the NTSB investigation. This evening, federal investigators are working to solve two questions. What caused the fatal hot air balloon crash in Eloy Sunday and why did it happen? Questions that ballooning pilot of 40 years, Bob Romanansky, says will likely take a while to answer as FAA and NTSB officials are grabbing preliminary information. Uh, learning as much as they can about the pilot, learning as much as they can about the passengers, learning as much as they can about uh, what happened uh, during the flight, before. Officials say Sunday morning, 13 people got inside the hot air balloon, carrying both skydivers and passengers. But shortly after eight people parachuted from the balloon, officials believe something went wrong. Eloy police released the names of the four people who died as a result. The pilot, 37-year-old Cornelius Vanderwalt, originally from South Africa but living in Eloy. Passengers, Etayan Kilkoti, 24, from Cupertino, California. Caitlin Bartram, 28 from Andrews, Indiana, and Shaitan Weisholek, also 28 from Union City, Michigan. 23-year-old Valerie Stonerheim from Scottsdale was airlifted to a hospital in Phoenix. At last check, she was in critical condition. Pilot Cornelius was also known by several in the skydiving and ballooning community, including Bob. Uh, from what I knew, Cornelius was a, uh, a skydiver first, and that was his social community, so he didn't really spend a lot of time with balloonists. But he be, I think he became a balloonist to facilitate his, uh, his desire to have a skydiver's experience jumping from a balloon. Bob urges everyone not to speculate about the crash until more is known. You don't have to know a balloon pilot to, to kind of absorb the emotion from the event. And NTSB investigators looked at the hot air balloon today. They said they found no mechanical anomalies and also everything appeared to be intact. I also, a few moments ago, just got off the phone with one of the victims, Chayton's longtime friend and neighbor. He described to me a very hardworking man who loved country line dancing and loved to work hard, to be in Jeeps, and just had a love and adventure for life. He said his very close-knit community absolutely devastated grieving his loss tonight. Reporting live here in the newsroom, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.